If you're tired of lag, stutters, or high ping while playing Fortnite, this is for you. I used a few secret settings to get zero ping and zero delay in Fortnite, and it completely changed the game for me. After these tweaks, my edits feel instant, builds place faster, and the gameplay is way smoother, so I'll show you step by step how to fix it in 2025. Let's get started. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description, and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Make your internet connection more stable. Using Device Manager, to get as close as possible to zero ping, or at least the lowest ping you can in Fortnite, click on the Windows search bar next to your Start button and type Device Manager, then click on it to open. Inside Device Manager, find Network Adapters and click the small arrow beside it so you can see all the internet devices connected to your PC. If you're using a wired Ethernet connection, look for something like Realtek PCIe GBE Family Controller. If you're on Wi-Fi, it might say something like Intel R Wireless AC or something similar. Right-click on your active network adapter, the one you actually use for internet, and choose Update Driver. Then click Search Automatically for Drivers so Windows can look for the latest driver version for you. If Windows tells you that your driver is already up to date, that's perfect. It means you already have the newest version installed and you're good on that part. Next, right-click on the same adapter again and choose Properties. Go to the Power Management tab and uncheck every box so Windows does not turn off your network adapter to save power. This is important because if Windows tries to save power, it can cause random disconnections or ping spikes in the middle of your Fortnite matches, which you definitely don't want. After that, go to the Advanced tab, scroll through the list, find Speed and Duplex, and set it to 1.0 gigabits per second full duplex. This tells your PC to use the full speed of your connection. If your internet suddenly stops working after changing this setting, don't panic. Just come back and set it back to auto negotiation and it will go back to normal. These small but powerful tweaks help your internet stay more stable and consistent so Fortnite can send and receive data faster, which is exactly what helps you get closer to that zero ping experience in Chapter 7 Season 1. Step 2. Update your network drivers using Snappy Driver Installer. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. Outdated network drivers are one of the main reasons people get unstable. Ping, weird lag spikes, or even packet loss during Fortnite matches. To fix this, we're going to use a free program called Snappy Driver Installer, which automatically finds and updates your network drivers to the newest versions available. Download Snappy Driver Installer from a trusted website, then right-click on SDI underscore Autobat and choose Route Run as Administrator so it has full permission to update your drivers. Once the program opens, click on Download Indexes Only. This will quickly download a list of the latest drivers that match your system without downloading unnecessary files. While the indexes are downloading, press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape on your keyboard to open Task Manager. Click the Performance tab and then look under the Network section to find the exact name of your network adapter. It will be similar to the one you saw in Device Manager. Remember or write down that name. Go back to Snappy Driver Installer and look for that same adapter name in the list of drivers it shows. When you find it, check the box next to it. Then click Install in the top left corner of the window and wait for the installation to finish completely. When it's done, restart your PC so the changes can fully apply. After your PC restarts, open Snappy Driver Installer again and check if your network adapter still appears in the update list. If it doesn't show up anymore, that means your driver is now fully updated and you're running the latest version. Updated drivers can make your internet connection faster, smoother, and more reliable. In this step, I'm going to show you a reliable tool that can help you get more stable ping while gaming. First, head over to the official Gear Up Booster website using the link in the description and download the tool. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once it's installed, open the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in using your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll see all the games installed on your PC. If you switch to the Games tab, you can also browse thousands of supported titles for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, Fortnite. Click the Boost button and Gear Up will begin optimizing your connection. It will also recommend the best server for you. Next, you'll be asked to choose a server region. For the best connection, select the nearest server to your location. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After that, you can close the window and move to the end tab, where you'll see a list of available servers in your chosen region. You can either pick the nearest one yourself or let Gear Up automatically select the best option. I suggest leaving it on automatic for the most stable results. Finally, close the setup window and launch your game directly from Gear Up Booster. 
This process helps reduce ping, improve stability, and make your overall gameplay experience smoother. Step three, improve internet speed with TCP Optimizer. Now we're going to make your internet connection even faster and more efficient. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. First, download TCP Optimizer v4 from a safe and trusted site. Once it's downloaded, right-click on it and choose Run as Administrator so it can apply system-level changes. When the program opens, check at the top that the network adapter selected is the same one you found earlier in Device Manager and Task Manager. This makes sure you're optimizing the correct connection. Switch the mode at the bottom to Custom so you can manually edit all the important settings. Then drag the connection speed slider all the way to the right so it's set to the maximum value for better performance. Now go through these options carefully, one by one. Set TCP window auto-tuning to normal so Windows can manage your receive window correctly. Set window scaling to disabled. For congestion control provider, leave it on recommended, default. Set the TTL value to 64. Turn ECN capability to enable. Then uncheck the options for checksum offload, TCP chimney offload, and large send offload, since disabling these can reduce latency in some systems. Finally, check the option for TCP timestamps to help with packet timing and stability. Next, click on the Advanced Settings tab and change the following values. Set Internet Explorer optimization to 10 connections per server so multiple connections can be handled more efficiently. Set host resolution priority to 4, 5, 6, 7. Set RTO max to 2000 and RTO min to 300. Set network throttling index to FEF. So Windows doesn't throttle your network performance. Set system responsiveness to gaming, 0%, which tells Windows to prioritize games like Fortnite over background tasks. Under the Gaming Tweaks section, enable Network Memory Allocation, set Memory Size to Optimize, 3, set Dynamic Port Allocation to 65,534, and set TCP Delayed ACA Timeout to 30. Once you've double-checked every setting, click Apply Changes at the bottom. When TCP Optimizer asks if you want to back up your old settings, select Yes so you can restore them later if needed. After that, restart your PC so all these changes can fully take effect. After the restart, your system will handle Fortnite's network traffic much more efficiently. Step 4. Reduce keyboard input lag. Using Filter Keys Setter, you can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. To fix this, we'll use a lightweight tool called Filter Keys Setter that helps your keyboard respond instantly to every key press. After you download and open the program, you'll see a few settings you can change to speed things up. First, set ignore under to zero milliseconds. This makes sure that every single key press you make is registered immediately with no delay at all. Next, set repeat delay to 130 milliseconds. This helps prevent accidental double inputs like when you press a key once, but your character acts like you pressed it twice. Then, set repeat rate to 10 milliseconds so that when you hold down a movement key, your character moves smoothly and quickly without feeling sluggish. On the right side of the program, make sure all options are turned on so the tool applies all the optimizations properly. When you've set everything, click OK to save the changes and close the program. This simple change can drastically improve how your controls feel in Fortnite. Your building, editing, and movement will feel snappier and more responsive. Step 6. Speed up Windows. Startup by disabling extra apps, extra background apps can use your internet and slow down both your PC and Fortnite. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape to open Task Manager, then click the Startup tab you'll see a list of programs that automatically open when you turn on your PC. Look for apps you don't need running all the time, like Spotify, Discord Auto Launch, or Update Checkers. Right-click each one you don't need and choose Disable. This frees up CPU, RAM, and internet bandwidth, so more power goes straight to Fortnite. Your PC will boot faster, feel lighter, and your gameplay will be smoother overall. After completing all the steps, restart your computer so every setting can fully apply. Then open Fortnite and jump into a match. You should quickly feel the difference. Your ping will be lower, your builds and edits will react faster, and your overall gameplay will feel much smoother.